So I got a nice little, uh, I guess, little project here that I've been working on that I want to kind of showcase. I'm still working out a few bugs on it there. That's why I'm only showcasing it. Um, I still have a kill section to install and figure out. Um, but other than this, it's pretty much well fully operational now. So this is what I call my villager breeding trading triage center or my vbttc <laughs> all right so this is how this works uh this in particular breeding um cell is done by king creeper um he shows it on his channel uh his link uh, his channel is in my description already below so you can go click on there and take a look at that and then the other idea of having your babies just kind of like fall off and into a water stream comes from uh, overlook ent's channel um him too i believe i'll put into my link below so you can check out his channel um yeah, and so that's where these two ideas kind of like join together and form my breeding cell. Then I added on a stream of water here with a trip wire that connects to uh, a dispenser of carts. Just like in my um, video that I did for a uh, villager separator. And then here it goes into a system where they'll just like to here and wait for you to trade with them and stuff like that and uh, kill them if need be and when all of them are full the system shuts the breeding cell off and then that's it so you won't have any more um, babies coming out and flooding your system so we'll just use a big guy for now as a demonstration comes down he goes in this shuts down so that way when the next cart comes in it's going to hit here and say okay I can't go there and go like this now this block being powered changes the direction of the track so naturally the track is like this so that way they can go in but as soon as this gets powered yeah, the track changes position and goes this way like that so we'll see it go here he'll go in that will close, the track will change, and pretty much what goes like that all the way through. So we'll go and we'll just put in uh, six more guys. Yes, and they will receive fall damage. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, it's just the way the system is set up. Um, but hey, one little bit of fall damage isn't gonna uh, isn't gonna hurt us too much. Might hurt them, but won't hurt us. So how many are we missing here? Just two. Alright, let's get these last two in here. Come on. Now we'll put the last one in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh boy. There we go. So now, all your cells are full. Okay. All the um, detector rails are lit up. This goes and lights up the redstone below, below here. It's just a series of AND gates all connected together, which finally light up one line, which will light up this right here. Well, actually it turns it off and retracts the pistons here. So that way um, your village is pretty much well destroyed. Um, it no longer recognizes this as a village. And then these guys will stop breeding. And then you could do whatever the hell you want with these guys down here. So let's say I kill one of these guys. I'm just going to do it like this because if I use a splash potion, I'm going to kill more than just one. Come on. I should use a sword. Yeah, I might go a little bit faster. Next time I'll enchant this puppy. 
and then we'll make it like a real bitchin sword. There we go. Okay, so now that he's dead, you reclaim your cart. The detector rail unpowers. This lifts up. The track resets. This goes back up to being a village. So it now I've recognized that these two will start breeding. And then whenever they do decide to have a kid, well, it'll fall in the water, come down through here, into the system, and back into here, wherever it was missing. And that will work for anywhere here. So it'll fill up all your gaps starting from right to left. So yeah, and then, see, look, there you go, as we speak. And then say you wanted to uh, refill your tracks, or tracks, uh, your carts that you want. Well, you come over here and you put it here. This will go all the way up here like this, and then back into your system. And then you could send a few of them up here and there. Just leave a few seconds of timing space between them so that way they don't bump into each other. And as you can see, they all go up and they get reloaded. I could pr probably put an extra track right here. That slows down a little bit there. Other than that, that's uh, my nice big project that I've been working on, and I think it's a really cool system. Uh, the size of it is, you know, reasonably big, but at the same time, too, it's necessary because you also have to be a certain distance away from the village for these guys not to want to breed. And I think it's at, like, the very minimum distance that you can get away from there without um, these guys wanting to breed. Yeah, so that's it. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed my VBTTC, and I hope you all take care. Thanks for watching. Peace until next time.